Have you heard the phrase to stop, look, and listen? Well, on this week's broadcast, we're going to learn why these words could be a huge advantage in your Christian life. Stay tuned. And welcome to our second broadcast of the new season. So glad you've tuned in. And if you were able to join us last week, you'll notice that we're in our brand new studio set, which we are very blessed to have. Uh, compliments of our friends at New Church here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And I want to encourage you, uh, if you can, to like our Facebook page and share this broadcast with your friends and family. And also be sure to follow us on Facebook as well. Or if you prefer YouTube, go to our YouTube channel and be sure to like, share, and hit the subscribe bell. And that will let you know when we are on the air. Also, you have several ways to contact us uh, via Facebook or YouTube, or just send us an email or write us at any of these platforms uh, and addresses and so on. There's our email. You know, we would love to hear from you. I hope that you'll, you'll do that. Uh, today, I was looking at this. People were asking me last week, somebody asked me about this Bible. Uh, God's Word, Bazan. And that is in Navajo. And this is my grandmother's Bible. Some of you might remember Grandma uh, Teresa Claus. And uh, my mom gave her this Bible back in 1970, I believe. She died shortly after that, but this was her Bible. And then uh, somebody had made this, mom had made for the, for her uh, the Navajo word, God, uh, bizarre which means God's word or language. And uh, so I love this. And I, I've always tried to keep it uh, near me. And, and uh, it's a special uh, remembrance of my grandmother, uh, Grandma Claus. And so I, that, that's people were wondering about what that was last week. And I'm, I'll probably just keep it right here. <laughs> and uh, I'll let it be... Uh, something you can see and uh, for all our Navajo friends they're going to recognize that right away so that's going to be uh, something interesting for them well let's get this week's uh, episode underway with some great gospel music and I want you to hear uh, here's a very good friend of mine he's uh, uh, from northern Minnesota he is Ojibwe it's Reverend Craig Smith and Craig and I go back a lot of long years together and uh, I want you to listen to these. He sings a beautiful song. It's entitled Everything in Jesus. And then we're going to be right back with this week's de devotional. So stay tuned. Amen. Well, I'm glad the Lord is still in the fire. He is still King of Kings and Lord of Lords. If you're going through a difficulty tonight, praise God. He is able to see you through when you look to Him and Him alone. Once it was a blessing, but now it is the Lord. Once it was a feeling, but now it is His Word. Once His gift I wanted, now the giver, oh, once I sought for healing, now himself oh, all in all forever, Jesus, will I see everything is in Jesus. Everything, everything. Now the utter 
uttermost Once was ceaseless holding Now he holds me fast Once was constant drifting Now my anchor's cast All in all forever Jesus will I see Everything in Jesus And Jesus Everything Once it was my working, but his it hence shall be. Once I tried to use him, but now he uses me. Once the power I wanted, now the mighty put who once for my I labor now for him oh all in all forever my Jesus will I sing everything is in Jesus and Jesus is everything All right, I hope you enjoyed that great song sung to us by Craig Smith, a Jibway from northern Minnesota. I hope you, that song was a blessing to you. Our topic today is stop, look, and listen. You know, in society today, many of us have kept a, a busy uh, schedule with work, our family, school, and much more. And we are always in a hurry mentally. <clears throat> Uh, don't feel bad if you're in that position. I'm guilty of it, too. It always seems like there is never enough time in the day. In all this hustle and bustle of activity, though, we sometimes become overwhelmed. And when I think of these words, stop, look, and listen, I'm reminded of a time when our family first purchased our first touring bus back in the early 70s. Back in that time, many of the Greyhound buses, school buses, and trucks would when they approached the train track, they would always have to stop at the train tracks. And the, the, the law and rule from a lot of states was that the driver would have to put his flashers on at the train track, uh, open his door, and listen for any approaching trains that might be coming down the track. Well, my dad would do the same thing in the states where it was the rule with our bus. And uh, so that was something that was always going, to stop, look, and listen. But I can relate that to something now as a uh, grandfather to a beautiful little granddaughter. <clears throat> and I practiced this when she was probably about two or three years of age. And what we would do is when I would take her to daycare center at our church, when we got out of the car, there was a, a street that we had to cross to get over into, into where the church was. And uh, she would always grab my hand as we approached the street and I would tell her I'd say okay we need to stop we need to take a look both ways and listen for any cars when it's clear 
to, we can go across the street. And I'd always tell her that, to stop, look, and listen before crossing that street. She never forgot that important value, something that was smart to really start, start teaching our children at that age to <clears throat> always be on the watch out for that. Well, you know what? There are accounts recorded in Scripture on how God's people did just that, where they stopped, looked, and listened. And Jesus could see that like today, the people became busy and were not focusing on Jesus. They were distracted. In Luke 4, we read the passages where Jesus was led by the Spirit to leave Jordan and go to the wilderness to rest, to fast, and to talk to his Heavenly Father. Jesus was up on the mountaintop for 40 days. And guess what happened? Satan came to him and tempted him. And as tired and hungry as Jesus was, the devil tempted him in every way to get Jesus to worship him. And in every temptation Satan offered to Jesus, Jesus rejected him very soundly. In Luke 4, verse 12, we read that Jesus answered, It is said, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. And when the devil had finished all his tempting, he left him, until a more opportune time. Well, you know, when you make a decision, do you rush ahead or do you stop and evaluate the situation by asking God for his opinion? Do you look at the pros and cons of what that might be? Do you listen to that still small voice by getting confirmation in the word of God? Do you listen to wise counsel? You know, we need to get away from the noise of this world and pray. It is important to stop all our activities and really just turn off the world. Perhaps we need to turn the, the ringer on our phones down and uh, switch off the TV. Whatever it takes, just do it. Look at the Word of God concerning the situation and find God's perspective. Ask Him for His guidance in the matter. You know, once you've made your case, then be very still and listen for the answer. Keep in mind that the answer may not be always yes or no. It could be wait. <laughs> yes, it's, it is vital that we listen to God and what he has for us. To stop, look, and listen. You know, uh, we read in scripture about King David was one whom God honored. And because of his desire to do that. To always stop, look, and listen. Before he went to battle, uh, David's triumphs were because he stopped to pray. And then he would look to God for direction. And then he would listen to God's advice before proceeding with God's plan. I trust you will take serious time to stop, look, and listen to what God wants you to do. Giving him time is the greatest way to honor our Heavenly Father. Will you do it today? I trust you will. To stop, look, and listen to what God may have for you in your life. I hope you'll plan to join me again next Thursday at the same time for another episode of Living Hope Today. We hope that you'll join us then. Until then, may the Lord bless and keep you.